What's going on everybody? Wild Time here with another World of Warcraft video. Today I want to bring to you another aspect of what's coming in the war within with the addition of warbands. Before we do that though, don't forget to check out goldcaptain.com. A lot of good gold making guides, a lot of help over there to help you reach your gold making goals. Description down below as well as a discount code. Okay, so Warbands is coming in the War Within, and basically what that means is that all of your tunes on your account, whether regardless of faction or realm, are going to be sharing certain things. And so a lot of things are going to become account-wide, and I'm super stoked about this. I wish they would have done this forever ago, and I'm going to show you something that is really, really cool about this um, right now. So... If you open up your character pane and you go to currency, it's going to have a different layout now. Uh, everything's nice and sort of grouped up here. Uh, and you can expand it, and miss, uh, unexpand it, and whatever. But uh, you can see you got your legacy tab. And then this is going to give you, like, here's Shadowlands, a bunch of different stuff. Like Soul Ash, Soul Cinders. And as I'm scrolling through these, you can see these ones that have Warband transferable. That means you can now share them among your alts. Some of you that played in Shadowlands, do you remember Soul Ash? You would have to, like, towards the end, you could buy it and then, like, send it to an alt um, with, like, a, there was, like, a fee for doing it. Uh, but you can do it right from the pain now without going to vendors and doing mail and doing all that stuff. And you see it still has a fee. There's a 17% transfer loss. But I'm going to tell you this. If you have a tune where you have a lot of something like this, and then a tune that doesn't have much like that, that 17% is going to probably save you hours in some cases. So there's a lot of different stuff that is becoming warband transferable. Some things are still not, obviously. But one of the things that is, is going to be honor so <clears throat> not conquest just honor so it it looks like a lot of the stuff that you could already buy and send from a vendor through the mail is now just being you know condensed easily into this character pane so let's just see for honor now, what's going to be cool about this is say for example i'm you know grinding out honor playing on my healer a lot well now I want to maybe do a different healer, or maybe I just want a DPS, but I it's going to take forever to grind that, because if you've ever done PvP, you know, pretty much you just die until you get gear. Uh, so this way, you can get full gear if you have some other uh, characters with higher honor. So here's how this works. This is going to give us a 20% loss, but when you open this up, you're going to be transferring it to the character which is cool because you don't have to go to the character that has it open it up send it to the character that needs it and then go back in you just start on the character that needs it open up your character pane find what you want hit transfer and we're going to look and see who has some honor that we can get well let's just go to turkey club here he's got you know five thousand something honor he's already maxed out in his gear he doesn't need honor anymore but we're trying to level this guy out so we're going to say we want to send over, I don't know, we're going to send over 1,500, right? And then it's going to tell us how much we're actually going to be sending over. We're losing 375 in the transfer. That's that 20%. So we're taking it from Turkey Club. Here's going to be his new balance. And then Beard of War, this is going to be our new balance from 515 to, to uh, 2015 so it looks like it takes the 20 percent from the person sending it and not away from the person receiving it so we're going to do confirm and then boom now we've got that 1500 honor right there there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do this with darkened prize tickets and you'll just have to play around with it once you get started time dwarfed uh, badges this is going to be really awesome for time dwarfed uh, badging but this is going to be cool when you want to pull together your uh, your resources here so that you can buy different cosmetics and stuff like that so i'm really excited about this feature let me know what you all think have fun playing the game and until next time i'll catch you all later